in a typical collusion case like price fixing, competitors illegally agree to charge higher prices. And when they get caught, they can actually go to jail under federal law. But Amazon accomplishes the same thing in-house. And it's higher fees are inflating prices on its own platform as well as in stores and other websites through these anti-competitive contract provisions with third-party sellers. And the result is prices go up for millions of Americans and Americans can't see it, it because there's no place else to do the price comparison to see what's happening here. You know, it, this price increase is entirely hidden from consumers. The price mm -hmm. looks the same wherever they go. And it just shows up as inflation. And Amazon- Senator, can I give you numbers? Please. I, I think it's gonna make your point. So between 2014 and 2020, Amazon's revenue from third-party seller fees and charges grew from $11.75 billion to over $80 billion. This year, Amazon is estimated to reap over $121 billion in fees from third-party sellers. They're doing this because it's extremely profitable. They don't care that consumers are paying far too much for goods, and they are not doing what they say they're doing, which is focusing 100% on consumers. They're focused 100% on utilizing their market power to extract every bit of profit that they can. So the question obviously you have to ask is how do they get away with this? And what I would like you to focus on if you can, Attorney General Racine, is how Amazon's dominant market position contributes to this kind of pricing power that's then felt throughout our economy? Well, I think the example with the headphones that I gave and that, that you accentuated, uh, frankly, um, and made better um, is the best example. And that is that what Amazon does is it artificially builds its commissions and fees into a product. It ensures that that embedded profit that it has, frankly, continues throughout the electronic mini mall or major mall in such a way that no one, not even you nor me, the creator of our own headphones, can sell our headphones for cheaper than what Amazon and we essentially were forced to agree to sell it at. And why do we engage in that agreement? Because they own 50 to 70% of the marketplace. Look at it as a toll booth keeper. If the road only leads to the toll booth, the toll booth keeper can raise those prices and you as the driver have no choice but to pay whatever they're asking if they're trying to get down that road. And we think that's illegal. We appreciate the work of this great committee. We're going to make law in the courts, and we look forward to helping with respect to legislation.